Hey, bro, where are you going? Oh, hey, Lee. I'm heading over to the community center to set up for Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa? What is that? Kwanzaa celebrates African-American community, family, and culture. Interesting. So, is it a celebration that comes from Africa? No, bro. Kwanzaa didn't come from any of the countries from the continent of Africa. A lot of people think it is an African Christmas, but it is not. It was introduced to America in 1966 by Dr. Malana Karenga as a way to welcome the first harvest home here in America. So, when is Kwanzaa celebrated? It is celebrated every year from December 26th through January 1st. Kwanzaa's a pretty cool name. I wonder how they came up with it. The word Kwanzaa is a key Swahili word that means the first, and it represents the first fruits of harvest. So how do you celebrate Kwanzaa? With Kwanzaa, there are seven key principles that are observed during that time. Each day of Kwanzaa, it emphasizes a different principle. Seven principles, huh? That is cool. What are they? There is Umoja, meaning unity, Kujicha Guliya, which stands for self-determination, Ujima, which stands for collective work and responsibility, building and maintaining our communities as brothers and sisters. Ujama, for building and maintaining the African-American stores and businesses. Nia, which means purpose. Kuumba, meaning creativity. And Imani, meaning faith in our hearts and people. So at Christmas time, you know, it's Christmas trees and stuff like that. Are there any symbols for Kwanzaa? When decorating for Kwanzaa, the main colors are red, black, and green. Just like there are seven principles, there are seven symbols. There is Kikombe Cha Umoja, meaning the unity cup. A Kanara, meaning the candle holder, which holds seven candles. Mazal, meaning fruits, nuts, and vegetables, reminding those who celebrate of the harvest. Mishuma Saba, meaning the seven candles that represent the seven principles. Mkeka meaning a mat which is made up of straw or African cloth. There is also the vabunzi, meaning ear of corn, where one ear of corn is placed on the mkeka for every child that is at the celebration. There's also zawadi, meaning gifts that are traditionally given on January 1st. Man, I would have never known all the cool things and fun facts about Kwanzaa for kids. Thanks for letting me know about this African-American holiday. And I hope you had fun learning with F-R-E-S-B-E-R-G Cartoon.